Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we are continuing with propositional logic. Now see, in this today's session we will discuss what is an argument and some of the examples based on that. So first of all, what is arguments? So an argument, it is an assertion that a given set of propositions that is P1, P2 up to Pn and called premises so they are called premises yields another proposition let us say capital Q uh, and it is called the conclusion such an argument it is denoted by this P1 P2 up to Pn this rotated T symbol and then Q so that means this P1 P2 up to Pn they are premises and it yields another proposition that is Q and this given symbol okay so come after combining all this it gives some q now note an argument this p1 p2 up to pn q is said to be valid if this q is true so that means the conclusion part is true whenever all the premises this p1 p2 up to pn are true again this q is true if and only if all the premises that means p1 p2 up to pn all are true and we will use it so this is very important now an argument which is not valid it is called a fallacy now theorem the argument this p1 p2 up to pn q is said to be valid if and only if the proposition this p1 and p2 and up to pn so what we are doing just uh, put and in between all these premises that means p1 p2 up to pn so end in between end and implies this q again this p1 p2 up to pn so we have just put end in between all this and that whole bracket implies the conclusion is a tautology so if this uh, is a tautology then this uh, uh, it is true okay and this is also important uh, let us discuss examples based on that the question is check the validity of this p implies q comma not p that symbol and not q see uh, before this uh, rotated t symbol uh, whatever the statements are there they are premises and after that this not q it is the conclusion part okay so here uh, how many premises are there so, so there are two premises so p1 capital p1 equals to p implies q and capital p2 so second premise that is not p so they both are premises and what is the conclusion part that is q not q now to check the validity we need to check uh, uh, we have just uh, used that theorem that uh, p implies q and not p and whole bracket implies not q it is a tautology so if it is a tautology then it is valid otherwise it is not so we will construct a true table so in truth table there will be p there will be q then there will be not p then not q then p implies q then p implies q and this not p and the last the final statement that is this okay so uh, here we have uh, two statements so uh, we will have four possibilities either both are true both are false one is true another one is false and first one is false another one is true okay so that means ct tf ft and ff now for the calculation of not p tt ff is there so not p will be fftt okay then not q now what will be not q so tf tf so not q will be ft ft now p implies q p implies q it will be tf tt then next p implies q and not p so p implies q and not p so that means it will be ff tt and in last column it will be tt ft now you can see that tt ft uh, all the entries see for tautology all the entries has to be true so then we can say that it is a tautology but here in this third column uh, in this third entry we have f so it is not tautology so here entries in the last column are not true all the entries are not true so it is not valid hence it is a false okay 
let us discuss second example determine the validity of the following argument see the argument is given if 7 is less than 4 then 7 is not a prime number then 7 is not less than 4 and this line you can see this line uh, 7 is prime number so see here in this example we have given the argument in the words form so first we will what we will do was first we will convert it into symbolic forms and then we will proceed now see uh, before this line before this line uh, whatever the statements are there they are premises and after this line it is argument okay so if 7 is uh, so the solution will be if 7 is less than 4 so let p be 7 is less than 4 then second statement we have given 7 is not a prime number but for not we will just convert it into positive manner so let q 7 is a prime number so p and q are there now 7 is not less than 4 so that uh, comes from this p so what will be the premises okay so the argument is of the form if 7 is less than 4 if 7 is less than 4 now 7 is less than 4 that means p then 7 is not a prime number so that means q that means not q okay so p implies not q so that is the first premise then 7 is not less than 4 so that means not p so it is the second premise and this uh, symbol and the conclusion is 7 is prime number and that is p so p implies q sorry p implies not q not p and q so this is the symbolic form now see p implies not q not p and q so this is the symbolic form now uh, in this uh, example we are not using that theorem we are using some different thing so first we'll construct this p then q then not q then not p and then p implies not q so this will be the truth table so this many columns will be there so we have two statements so there will be how many possibilities there will be four possibilities so it will be tt tf ft and ff okay now not q t uh, q is tf tf so not q will be ft ft now not p ttff so not p will be fftt now p implies not q now what is p implies not q and uh, it will be like this ft tt okay now just check this column the premises and the conclusion part so not p that is a premise now p implies q that is also a premise okay now see in the premises form this not p is true okay then this row that is also true but the conclusion part is also true so that is correct okay so this is by definition how how to use it that the conclusion part is true whenever all the premises are true so here it, uh, it holds now in second in which row both the entries are true so that means in the fourth row so t then t uh, both the premises are true okay but corresponding to the conclusion is it true no but it is the false one so that is not correct so here in the fourth line this not p and p implies not q they are true but corresponding the conclusion q is false so it is not valid so it is not valid so hence it is false thank you